The owners of a Riverhead convenience store and 24 of their customers are arrested and charged by the state attorney general's office, accused of illegally trading cash for hundreds of thousands of dollars in public assistance funds through the food stamp program. 59-year-old Ravinder Parkash is the owner of Savani Enterprises in Riverhead. He has been charged with grand larceny and money laundering for allegedly orchestrating this scheme to steal more than $670,000 from the government program. His wife, 58-year-old Prabhna Rani and two dozen of their customers also face significant theft charges. After Superstorm Sandy, the USDA allocated an additional 50% in benefits to all of the recipients of the Supplemental Nutritional Assistance Program, or SNAP. The Attorney General says the people in this case received the Sandy benefit and illegally used their cards for cash in the months after the storm. The program works like this. The recipients received a benefit card from the state. It's supposed to be used to buy specified food items only. In this case, though, Parkash and his wife are accused of processing phantom SNAP transaction, the AG says, and it all happened in cooperation with the 24 SNAP card holders when they weren't sold any food. It happened between April of 2010 and this past June. Now, according to the indictment, the owners gave the card holders cash, equaling up to half of the amount of those fake purchases. They kept the remainder of the money for themselves, the AG says, and in 2012 alone, they're alleged to have rang up more than $329,000 in SNAP benefits. So far, 21 of the 24 alleged recipients have been arrested, the other three actively wanted by the police. As for Parkash and Rani, they both pleaded not guilty at arraignments yesterday, and today they remain in jail. Parkash on $250,000 bail and his wife on $100,000 bail. On Long Island, I'm Mike Balsamo for Examiner.com.